reason why uh, this position is so great is because we're controlling both legs through the entire thing. Okay? When we control both legs, we eliminate the most of our partner's resistance. Okay? This is uh, the concept we call double trouble. Right? We've got two legs, or if we're taking the upper body, we've got both arms. Our partner is in double as much trouble as if we only got one. Okay? Um, just to explain real quick, um, the reason why uh, people don't like knee bars, one of the reasons why people don't like knee bars is if I just go on a single leg knee bar here, where I'm just controlling one leg here. If everything's locked up, it's great, right? I go, everything's locked up nice and tight, I finish fully. Problem is, if everything's not locked up nice and tight, he can rotate. When he rotates, I lose the knee bar. Now, if I'm allowed to do heel hooks, there's still other submissions we can transition into, right? But he can kind of rotate out of the knee bar. The reason he can rotate is because that other leg is free. It's like being able to move this leg either that way or the other way. Yep. Makes him able to turn out and he can put his foot in, his, in my butt and kick out. Same thing goes for the toe hold. If I just have one leg here, and I have the toe hold, sure, it's, it's a great submission. It's really powerful. But when I try to put it on, well, I can look to spin. Again, the second leg helps him turn out, get out of the submission. Now, when we get to a position where we have both his legs, we kill the turn out. There's no turning out because he needs a free leg. Okay, so we both the, the knee bar and the toe become much more viable when both legs are controlled, which is why this is such a beautiful position for that. Okay, so when you go here, you split. You could go to the straight heel grips here, pull it up. It's great. Go attack your knee bar right away. But what we can also do is we can go for a toe hold here with both legs controlled. So I pull everything in just like before. Pull in here. Now I really want to isolate this foot. So I pull his leg in here, pulling the other one in. I'm taking my elbow in front of the trap leg. I'm grabbing his toes here. I'm not grabbing all the way out here. I'm not grabbing all the way in here. I'm grabbing right by the knuckle line here with my hand. My other arm swims under, elbow deep. Now I fall to my side just like before, here. From here, I can start to put on a toe hook. So I push down the toes. I make sure my head is close so I can put my wrist on top of my other wrist here. And the way this works is I'm pushing in with the toes, but more importantly, I'm pulling with my right elbow here towards my face. So it's like a kimura on the foot here, right? So pushing the toes, but it's more of a pull with this bottom foot here, okay? So. We're gonna fall kind of like before, but this time, look how I put my elbow in front of this foot. Grab the toes here. I'm already pushing them down. I wrap my elbow in here, make sure my head is close so I can get a good grip on my wrist. And I fall to the side here, lock just like before. Now I put on the toe, push down on the toes, lift on the heel to create rotation here, right here. Now, there's a way Fully can defend this. He takes his other foot and he starts to kick my hands. When he does that, we go back to here. And he straightens his own leg, gives me the knee bar here. Right. So we start with the toe hold. If it fails, it's most likely because of the interference from the other foot, we just grab that and switch right back to the knee bar. So when he tries to stop one thing, he gives us the other. If he doesn't try to stop the toe hold, we just pop his foot, okay? So when you go use the toe hold, guys, make sure you're pushing down on the toes and then use your elbow to lift the heel as you move your head away. This kind of rotation here. So it's not just a push, it's a push, but it's more of a pull with the elbow by the heel here, okay? So let's add this in and you can have your partner defend by trying to kick your arms. Then you go right back to the knee bar. Last technique for the day. Let's try it in three. One, two, three.